I did it. My research is finished at last. Tomorrow I'll submit it to the professor. It will be a big day. Tomorrow is the anniversary of Dad's disappearance, too. It's already been ten years. Henry Morgan, the famous archaeologist, vanished under mysterious circumstances. This was the most recurring headline in the newspapers. I'm sorry, Dad. I tried really hard to understand where your final research took you. A hello to Mom, and then to sleep. Unfortunately, she can't be here tomorrow. Her latest expedition in the Amazon is taking longer than expected. Let's hope she receives my email. Good night, Mom. Coming! This postman believes that everything he delivers is urgent. One can never even get a few hours rest. It's only 2 p.m. The day has only just started. Let's see. Bills. A letter for me? Nobody writes to me, usually. It's dated July 25th, 2008. The same day my father disappeared. Dear Willie, it's Dad. If you received this letter, it means that my mission didn't go according to plan. I can't linger or I would put your mother and you in danger. You must go to the old inn in Bone Town as soon as possible. Room 09, but never trust anyone. Everything begins there in the warmth of a friendly place. Love, Dad. Hmm. It certainly isn't a prank. The style and handwriting are my father's. I've looked for clues to his disappearance for ten years. And I even got a letter from him. I must leave for Bone Town immediately. I'll have to manage somehow, because Mom is still traveling. But Bone Town isn't far. With a little money and a bike, I can get there in a few hours. I saw the bike around the house. There's even some money around here somewhere. Off we go. Perfect. I already found the bike. Or rather, what's left of it. To leave, I'll need all the other parts, too. Hi, I'm Willie. Would you like to take a short tutorial to learn how to handle things in my world? Good. Let's do a quick overview of how to play. Let's start with the basics. By holding down the space bar or clicking on the icon at the top left, you can highlight the objects with which you can interact. Try to see what happens. Great! As you can see, the hot spots are marked with an icon like this one. If you want to pick up an item, use it, talk to someone, or speed up the dialogue, you can do so by pressing the left mouse button. Now try to pick up the object you spotted a few moments ago. Good. Now let's focus on the inventory. You can open and close it by using the mouse wheel or pressing the I key. Give it a try. Very good. You can examine an item both in the inventory and in your surroundings by pressing the right mouse button. Reopen the inventory and examine the item you just collected. Perfect. We have completed the tutorial. Here's a last bit of useful information. You can open the pause menu by pressing escape or by clicking on the menu icon at the top right. Finally, by double clicking with the mouse on the directional arrows, you can immediately move from one place to another. If you are uncertain of what to do, you can access the help section included in the pause menu. Let's start. No way. If we start by taking a key at the beginning of the adventure, what will happen next? Essential for traveling. Empty. 
I could fill it up with the stuff inside the boxes around the corner in the corridor. Too many drawers. I don't have enough clothes to fill them all. They will come in handy. I'll take them with me. Here they are. It won't be an ISO 9000 certified ladder, but it will do. Got you, wheel. It won't come off. It looks like it's bolted on. Et voila! If only there was a rubber chicken, but these could come in handy too. Now, I feel more at ease taking it with me. It's always good to have one for a pleasant bike ride. Let's take it. One never knows what might come next. I see no alternative. Now you'll discover the huge power of a plunger. Nice work. Now I can safely leave home. Well, look what was hiding in the bathtub. It's certainly a part of the bicycle. I'm amazed by the extremely intelligent use I made of it. Let's see what's wrong with it. Look what was inside it. Maybe that's why it wasn't working. Replacing the internal alarm with the bicycle bell might not have been a brilliant idea. I think I'll need it shortly. Excellent. The heat from the lamp is melting the oil. It's ready to use now. The rusty screws are loosening up. I also finished the suntan oil. I better leave the empty bottle here. Giotto always had one too, or so they say. Strange object. Let's see what happens when I pull one of the branches. I thought so. Ingenious! Typical of my mother. I bet she designed it. Look at the nice ring inside it. It looks ancient, and there's also an engraving inside. Difficult to make out. S.C. Arvis Mag A. I think I know what it is. I'll put it in the bag. It might come in handy. Wow! Now in your inventory you have items that you can combine. Doing so is very simple. Open the inventory, select an item with the left mouse button, then select a second item. If successful, wait a few moments and you'll see these items combine and a brand new one will appear. This will certainly be very useful. Try to combine the item you just found with another item you already have in your inventory. And it came to pass that my criminal career began.
Excellent idea. That way I can open it without causing irreparable damage. I... Uh, I expected more. All that noise and all I got is this lot of gears? I don't even know how they ended up in here. Better not take a hammer to everything. There's still something missing. It's not time yet. I'd really love to try it. I think there's still something missing. I can't take it. It serves an important function in this fridge. I used it temporarily to reinforce one of the shelves. If I pull it out, everything will fall down. I first need to fix the shelf. Just what I needed. I couldn't go anywhere without it. Every meal has been carefully selected by mom based on its caloric intake and ease of preparation. In this, my mother used to hide little surprises for me. Let's see if I'm still lucky. Would you look at this? It looks like there's a little emergency money in the bottom of the tins. There's no greater emergency than this. And there's still something missing. Very good! There's still something missing. Another part. Almost ready. I don't know how to connect it. How professional. Nearly there. Nearly there. Not long to go. Perfect. A few more parts. It's not time yet. Not long to go. Nearly there. They connect perfectly. Not long to go. It won't come off. It looks like it's bolted on. Now it works. <whistles> Making progress. The bike is ready. I just have to take it, and that's it. Bone Town, here I come! I've already read them all. Let's go. It felt like something from my bike was missing. I forgot to mount the brakes in my hurry to leave. Fortunately, I escaped without any major damage. Better take what's left. I'm especially sad about the bike. I was very fond of it.
Good evening, my good man. Good evening, boy. How can I help you? I need a place where I can stay tonight. It's your lucky day, boy. The Dead Man Inn is the best in the business. Very good. I almost feel at home. Are there any rooms available? I'm happy to check, but I have to warn you we are in peak season. Hmm. In this one, we still have to clean up bloodstains. Room 08 is already occupied by me. I just have number 09 and 10 left. Then 09 would be perfect. That is also my lucky number. In that case, I can't do anything other than give you room 10. But I just told you I'd like to have 09. Everybody likes number 9. If I gave you that room, the next customer could only take number 10, which nobody likes. So they would leave. I could leave too, since I'm not pleased with that. Of course. Indeed, you have the look of someone who can go and choose another inn. For your information, Dead Man Inn is the most comfortable, as well as the only inn in a 40-kilometer area. You can also go find yourself another inn and come back tomorrow morning. I'm always here. So, room 09 or 10? Room 10 is okay. Do you have money for the accommodation? Yes, I think I can pay for one night in this amazing resort. I don't know what a resort is, but it is sufficient that you have the money to pay. Here's the money. Kid, this isn't much. It will only be good enough for one night. I think that's enough. Good. To whom do I have the honor of speaking? Morgan. Willie Morgan. Morgan. That name sounds familiar to me. Have you already been in our lovely little town? Many years ago, but I was very young. Maybe you remember my dad, Henry Morgan. Henry Morgan, you said? Something springs to mind, but I think a long time must have passed. Yes, a long time. I'd say ten years since he disappeared. And why do we have the pleasure of seeing you again in Bone Town? Definitely for the hospitality. I agree. Here at the Dead Man Inn, the customer is of the utmost importance. I have no doubt about it. Now I have to get back to my job. Help yourself to the key to room number 10. Thank you. Once you are settled in your room, you'll find a pre-printed form. I need to complete the check-in. Bring it back as soon as you have filled it out. All right, thank you. Thanks, and goodbye. <sighs> You chose room number 10. It's the only key you can take. Technically, it wasn't exactly a choice. It doesn't change the fact that you can only take the key to room number 10. All right. Hello, boss. It's me. You won't believe this. Henry Morgan's son just showed up here. Henry's son? Why did he come here? He hasn't said too much about the reason for his visit. What do you want me to do? Do I warn Bob? Yes. Standard procedure. Okay. As soon as the kid comes back here, Bob will take a good look at the belongings of the young Morgan. Sure, boss. I'll keep you posted. See you later. I want the other guests to enjoy these works as well. Tiago Huazel painted this subject. I can't open it. It's locked. A peculiar scent. I wouldn't say it's good, but at least it adds a different touch to the place. First, I have to fill in this form, and then I can use the services of the room. I haven't got a pen with me, and can't see one around. Better go back to the innkeeper and ask for more info.
I'm back with the form you talked about, but I haven't got a pen with me, and I still have to fill it out. Doesn't matter. Give it to me so I can write the essential data down. Thank you. Name and surname. Your memory is a bit spotty. I'm Willie Morgan. Sorry, kid. You know how it is. Age plays shameful tricks. You seem like a different person now. Kinder and more friendly. Maybe I left you with a bad impression before. I'd like to make things right now. Did you hear that too? Uh, hear what? There are a lot of noises in this inn. Did you hear it now? It's probably some little animal. The one who made that sound must be a big one. And how? What now? Did you hear that noise again? Yes, but I don't think you should be worried. It's normal. In fact, I think it's finished now. How can you be so sure? It happens all the time. As soon as you open a door, drafts let the wind through and it does funny things. Okay, what else do you need? I'd say I'm okay with this. I have everything I need. Only name and surname? Here in Bone Town, we need very little information. The rest will fall right into place. Okay, now I must get back to work. Me too. I'm very busy. With what? Okay, thank you. Um... Oh my god! And to think that, according to the innkeeper, it was just a little animal. Luckily, I always keep the important things with me. Never trust anyone. Dad was right. I better warn the innkeeper. What the hell happened here? A very strong draft ransacked my room. You should be more careful about leaving the door open. Hurricanes are frequent this time of year. Summer hurricanes localized into one room in particular? You can't rule anything out. Otherwise, what do you think happened? I guess a robber came in and trashed the whole room. I cannot be 100% sure, but all clues lead to that. Have they taken anything valuable from you? Yes, I always travel with a gold bar. Yes, of course. And do you usually leave it in hotel rooms as a tip? I am extremely generous. I have all my valuable things on me. Better this way. The Dead Man Inn is the most comfortable in the area, but it doesn't have any insurance in the event of theft, disappearance, or death. I was lucky it was just a theft. Unfortunately, there have been many such cases in Bone Town lately. Seeing the current condition of this room, can I have room 09 now? I already explained that I can't. I'm awaiting a huge influx of tourists in the next few days, and I need that room. If you could wait just a few minutes, I will clean everything up like it was before. Then, as compensation, I won't make you pay from tomorrow night on. Your kindness astounds me. Seems I can't do anything other than accept it. Wise choice. Now, if you can clear out, I have to clean up the room. If you give me the key back, I'll clean up everything and give it back to you at the entrance. I'll take a moment. Using the back door, I'll be at the entrance before you arrive. Thanks, my good man. Have you already cleaned up the room? Yes, everything's in order again. Here's the key. Okay, thanks. And you have all the services of the Dead Man Inn at your disposal. Like what, for example? The most important one is room service. And following that, the Do Not Disturb. Thanks, and goodbye. <sighs>
What's the do not disturb? It's this amazing object. Only paper of the highest quality for our customers. With the writing, do not disturb, in giant letters. You just have to hang this on the door. And I'll know you don't want to be disturbed. Here, take it. Thanks, very useful. Thanks, and goodbye. <sighs> Let's see if I can. Done. This sign is useless now. I'd rather not take it with me. The things I have to do. Let's just hope it doesn't spill. I wouldn't really know what to use to get rid of this stink. Better not go inside. If the innkeeper finds out, I'd be concerned for my safety. That might be a good idea, but not without knowing the contents of both. I'd rather not try experiments like that in my bag. What if there is a reaction of some sort? I don't want to ruin it. The stink from this bucket is already bad enough. Just how I pictured it. Very good. It looks like the cleaning has finally started. And now something classy. The contents haven't changed, but now there's a fresh musk ox scent. Better not go... I can't open it. It's locked. What now? Oh, that must be the new guest. I saw straight away that he was a troublemaker. Better go check. Agile and silent like a ninja. I didn't even realize the cleaning lady finally got to work. Better not walk across it. I'd risk ruining this beautiful work. Oh, she also added the essence of musk ox. My favorite. I'll go around the back. That guy's gonna have to wait for a second. Nobody's coming. Better go check the entrance. Better not go inside. If the innkeeper... This is my chance. Better not go inside. Let's hope there won't be any other obstacles. At last! That doesn't seem like a good idea. If the owner finds out I entered room 09, I don't think he'll be happy. If anything happens to me, the Dead Man Inn has no insurance to cover the damages. Look what's inside. Somebody forgot a nail file. Better take it. It could come in handy. Everything starts there, in the warmth of a friendly place. I think my father meant warmth in a literal sense. Perhaps he hid something in the fireplace. Let's try searching there. What is this? This brick doesn't seem to be bonded to the fireplace like all the others, but I can't rip it out. It seems after all these years it is partially calcified back into the fireplace. I need something to grab hold of the cracks. It seems to be working. I can take out the mortar holding the brick. Clever, a niche. Let's see what's inside. 
It looks like an old library card. It belonged to my father, Henry Morgan. Last read book, Properties of Concrete. What did my father want to tell me? It's a card for the Bonetown Library. The card belongs to Henry Morgan, my father. Let's see the last read book, Properties of Concrete. What was he working on in his final research? Better go to the library to make some inquiries. After this amazing night, it'd be better to go back to my room and rest. First, I'd rather take the key to room 09 back to reception. I'd prefer to avoid having problems with the innkeeper. I have a really big day ahead of me tomorrow. I think the time has come to find out what Dad was working on. I better check the library card again. I'm sure Dad left me some other clue. Better leave the key here. I don't know if I'll want to avail myself of this service again tonight. I guess it's a good idea to ask for directions to the library. I wouldn't want to wander aimlessly through Bone Town. Excuse me, I need some information. Is there still a public library here in Bone Town? Sure, boy. It's one of the crown jewels of Bone Town. At least it is according to what Margaret, our librarian, tells us. I'm simply reporting what's said because I personally never go to such places. Strange. I would have bet the opposite. Could you tell me where it is? Turn left at the main square, just outside the door. Boy, if you don't want to get lost, use this. It's an old Bone Town postcard, but it was used as a tourist map during the Golden Years. It could be of use to orient yourself and move around Bone Town. Thank you. Are you interested in something in particular? Just to reminisce a little bit. My father used to take me there all the time. Thanks. This and more for a paying customer. I better be going now. I don't know how, but I hope it might come in handy. I don't think I should use it on the book. I don't think I should use it on the book. It's stuck under the huge number of books on the desk. I must find a way to free it. Let's try. It worked! Check out what we have here. Let's see what it is. It's another letter from my father. It's dated July 22nd, 2008 earlier than the other one. There's also a piece of paper that seems more ancient, but I can't figure out what it is. Better take a look right now. If Dad did all this so that I'd find it, there must be something important.
Now I understand what the piece of paper was that I found with the letter. Dad always performed great feats, but I never imagined he was looking for kids' treasure. It has always been said that it was basically a legend. I don't remember the complete story exactly, but maybe the librarian can help me. And I have a list of names. Better start asking information of the townsfolk without attracting too much attention. I don't need my father's old library card anymore. Even if someone found it, it would be useless. I have the letter and the piece of map belonging to my dad. Hmm. Very strange. I have the feeling I'm being watched. Better be careful. You never know what can happen in Bone Town. I don't need them. Good morning, Steve. Good morning. I'm sorry, do, do we know each other? It's been a while, hasn't it, Uncle Steve? Uncle Steve? There was only one child that called me that. It can't be. Willie, is that really you? Yes, Steve, it's really me. Willie Morgan. Son, how are you? Sorry if I don't get up, but my back is killing me. Sitting here all day is bad for my health. All good, Steve. Thank you. Tell me, what brought you back to Bone Town? It's been years since the last time I saw you. For the anniversary of my dad's disappearance. It's been ten years. I was thinking of swinging by the cemetery. Already ten years? Time seems to have stopped in Bone Town since then. I sought refuge in my job to forget. I don't see your mother. Does she know you're here? I told her I was leaving. She's away on a business trip. How is she? I tried many times to contact you in recent years, but she never answered. It was very tough for her, too. She preferred to make a clean break from the past, concentrating on me and her job. Bone Town is a memory that still hurts a lot. I understand. See you later. Come back whenever you want. You'll always find me here. Thanks. Better ask for permission. I'd risk looking like a thief. Can I borrow a stamp? Of course, as long as you use it responsibly. Even if they're dated back, they're the official stamps of Bone Town. Thanks. I'll use them well. Actually, when you're finished with your stuff, you can help me out with that stamp. I have a lot of paperwork to authenticate. Gladly. See you later. Come back whenever you want. You'll always find me here. Thanks. Good morning. Good morning. What can I do for you? I was just browsing. No problem. Uh, but please don't touch anything without my permission. I've arranged everything so that it will make my work easier. What work? I'm developing a recipe that will make me rich. I just have to find the final ingredients. Can I help you somehow? Hmm, let me think. Uh, oh, maybe there's something you could do. I need to go to the warehouse to get some things I couldn't find anywhere else in town. But I need a specific plant that grows here in these surroundings. It's a plant with white flowers that only grows in places exposed to the sun, but also with enough moisture. No problem. I'll see if I can pick one up and bring it to you. No, 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 no. It's, it's extremely delicate. Any contact with the acids in human skin could ruin its essence. You should use specific instruments to pick it up and carry it. If you're willing to give me a hand, I can provide you with all you need. All right. Very well. Help yourself to the container in the trowel near the door. Once you've identified the plant, use the trowel to put it in the container. I figured as much. Thanks. It will also take me a while to find what I need in the warehouse. Uh, we'll meet back here. All right. Goodbye. See you soon. When you find the plant with the white flowers, make sure to be as gentle as you can. I'll do my best.
The owner was clearly in a great hurry to leave. Let's see if there's anyone here. Better take them with me. You never know. I don't know how, but it could be useful. They could always come in handy. I don't need it. A tuning fork can always come in handy. Excuse me, can I take that tuning fork? Sure. It's available to customers to find Harmony. Thanks. Hey, there are other musical instruments here too, but these seem to be more ancient. It should work. What was that? There's a hideout in the wall. The opening mechanism seems to have activated with the sound of the instrument. I hope they grew spontaneously. A few pumice stone pebbles could come in handy. They're light but resistant. I can't. It needs gasoline to work. It doesn't seem like a good idea. Unless it's a matter of life and death, my tools cannot be touched. I get it. Good morning, Father. Good morning, son. I was admiring the beauty of this church. You're right. It's a real piece of art. It dates back a few centuries and is all thanks to an ancestor of mine. After he traveled across the ocean, he settled here in Bone Town. Seeing the condition of the village, he wanted to build a place of comfort for wayward souls at all costs. What was the name of your ancestor? Edward Drake. The first minister of the Bone Town community, upstanding guide of Bone Town's people, unblemished pastor of the community. Yes, Father, I think I understand. This calling has been handed down from one generation to another, right up to today. Goodbye. Goodbye, son. Maybe it could come in handy. Let's try and hope it still works. 
There's a super promotion. With a single shot, you'll see yourself in your current form, in the guise of a pirate, and, brand new option, in the guise of a drunk pirate. All offered by the Lafitte Amusement Park. The things you do to attract customers. Woo! I better go out and recover the posters. I'm curious to admire the different versions of myself. Great, three posters of me. My arms are not long enough. Maybe now they will come in handy. Got it. It's not a chimney. It looks more like a roll with a series of engravings on it. I don't think I still need these bulky tongs. Let's try this one. No way, the weight doesn't move an inch. There must be another way to make the bell ring. Is it possible the solution could be so easy? It seems to have worked. I won a prize. Very nice. Let's see what this is about. Small Teddy, property of Rock Lafitte. Rock Lafitte? Could he be the same man from my father's letter? It would seem he was a pirate with a soft heart. It'd be better to check this plush more carefully. Just as I thought, there's something hidden inside. The very smart Mr. Lafitte hid his piece of the map, the only place no one would ever look for it. Better add his part of the map to the other pieces. I don't need this plush anymore. I hope Mr. Lafitte won't be offended. I'd rather leave it in peace. It looks pretty aggressive to me. I wouldn't know what to do of it. I wouldn't know what to do of it. The roll should go here. Another noise. The hideout opened a little bit more. It's a bow, but it's so old that the strings are worn out. I'll take it with me. If I can find a way to replace the strings, I can use the cello. Sorry, can I take these scissors? It seems to me it's the only thing suitable for you in this shop. Round edges for greater security. Go ahead and take them. And don't forget to advertise Roger's Weapon Shop. Um, thank you. Here are the pics I took with the Polaroid. Now that the photographic film is over, I don't need that Polaroid anymore. I don't think there are any specialist photography shops here in Bonetown.
It should work. The photos surely have to be inserted here. Very well. A perfect plastic copy of the gun photographed in the shop. This printer model uses materials that faithfully reproduce the original objects by starting from simple photos. This replica could surely come in handy. This sign invites me to the marriage. It says, new arrival, try it. No problem, that always happens when kids play with it. Mm. I'm gonna tidy up. I hope it won't take too long. Finally, let's see if there's a clue. Hopefully it's not loaded. Very good. Inside the barrel was a piece of the map. Roger's piece. I don't feel at ease with a real weapon in my pocket. I'd rather not take it with me. But I can't get rid of it here or the owner would get suspicious. I'd better leave it somewhere outside of the store. Looks like a good spot here. Now it seems much less aggressive. Good morning. Good morning, and welcome to the one-eyed Jack of the Bellamy family. I glimpsed the menu outside the club. What's your specialty? Chicken, kid. Delicious, free-range chicken. Only chicken? Absolutely, kid. Chicken is our main ingredient. Healthy, genuine, and it's not fattening, so you can eat as much as you want. We Bellamy's have invented more than 100 recipes to serve it with. A diverse menu, then. Thanks, and goodbye. Thanks to you, and enjoy your stay in Bone Down. It would be better to ask the owner before taking a seat. I see there's a free table. Can I take a seat? It depends. On what? That table is reserved for those who want to test themselves. Can you explain better? Our family, the Bellamy's, have always looked for the chosen one, and this table can reveal if a person is that or not. What do you mean by chosen one? The family legend says that Eddie Bellamy, progenitor of the Bellamy's, learned every recipe on how to cook chicken. But his efforts in the kitchen seemed not to be appreciated by customers, who considered his recipes mere common chicken, bumpkins. So he created the only meal that was not chicken-based, the Bellamy cookie. The patrons seem to be thrilled by the extraordinary innovation. But Eddie, given the indifference his cooking received before that, imposed one condition. Only the chosen one could taste the cookie from the Bellamy recipe. And since then, from generation to generation, the search has kept going. Which cookie are we talking about? The sacred cookie, contained in that glass case, built to keep its fragrance intact. How long has it been in that case? Since the day it was baked by Eddie Bellamy. And according to legend, it seems Eddie found a recipe for a pastry that could last for centuries without losing its fragrance. Do you mean that in all these years, nobody was able to earn the right? Absolutely not. That is the original cookie. Never has another one been baked. How can you recognize the chosen one? That'll be the only one who can pass the test. What test? The menu, kid. The menu. Only the worthy will listen to the entire menu without blinking an eye. And at that point, he'll have earned the cookie, along with honor and fame. Very epic. Where does the test take place? At the table. 
when you feel ready, take your seat, and we'll see if you might be the chosen one. But don't get your hopes up. We're extremely selective. Thanks, and goodbye. Thanks to you, and enjoy your stay in Bone Down. It could be a good idea. Now I have a nice pair of cardboard eyes. Better use them only when they're strictly needed. I see you want when you're ready. Go it could work. I feel ready. Very well. I'm coming. Let's begin the test. We'll soon know if you're the chosen one or just another common person. Our menu includes mushroom chicken, algae chicken, egg chicken, spicy chicken, sweet corn chicken, pepper chicken, olive chicken, chicken and vinegar, blah, blah, chicken, blah, 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 free range, blah, 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 herb crusted, blah, blah, blah. Hmm. Kid. Hey, kid. The test is over. I saw you fall into a trance, just like in the legend that has been passed down for generations. You're the chosen one. The one who can taste the unique and incomparable Bellamy cookie. After the sixth plate, I felt the force flowing strong in me. I know. The chosen one has this power. Keep the key. With this, you'll have access to the Bellamy treasure. Thank you. I'll put it to good use. Good. I don't need these cardboard eyes anymore. Since I'm the chosen one, I'm entitled to it. It's the original Bellamy cookie. Inside should still be the message from Eddie Bellamy. I can't open it. After all these years, the dough is hardened. I need something to break the cookie. Better use it with caution. I could cause serious damage. I might need one. I'll take the more worn one. Let's give a touch of authenticity to this poster. Now it seems that it was issued by a town hall department. The stamp has done its duty. I don't need it anymore. I don't want to ruin it. There's something written. Free. Maybe it will come in handy. Go ahead and take it. It will open both your heart and your mind. Some stickers to support Tom Rayleigh's cause are included as well. We also need your help to make this artist known. Thanks. Prisons, the story of Tom Rayleigh. Hmm, now I know why this book is free. It seems more like a series of rambling stories instead of a serious biography. Maybe there's just one bit of plausible information. Here it says that Tom Rayleigh's past is dark. He was repeatedly put in prison in Bone Town for being drunk and disorderly. The stickers are nice, but the book is useless to me. I'd rather put this book back in its place. Probably someone else will find it more interesting. <laughs> um. It could be a good idea. 
Now it seems that the wanted man is Tom Rayleigh. The resemblance to me is remarkable. Here you are. Interesting. Sure, they are wanted posters of Tom Rayleigh. I found them at home in an old chest left to us by one of my ancestors. I know that in the past he had some problems with the law. My poor great-great-great-grandfather Tom. Um, actually, they look authentic. The resemblance to you is evident, especially after he drank a bit. Oh, thanks? And the stamp is authentic as well. There is no doubt you're one of Tom's heirs. Finally, I have something for you. Take that envelope. Tom forgot it here, in the old prison after his last, um, visit. Since then, nobody has ever seen him anymore. Can you tell me what happened to him? The usual things for an artist. Life on the edge. No financial security. Just as I thought. I have to follow his path. Take his envelope and make your forefather proud of you. Now I have to refine my technique, so that it will at least be equal to that of Master Rayleigh. Thanks a lot. Better leave before opening the envelope. Let's open it. I'm intrigued to see what Tom Rayleigh left me. As I suspected, inside there's both a piece of the map I was looking for and a little flask. By the smell, I'd say the rumors about Tom's drinking problems were true. Best to add this piece of the map to the others. Let's just hope the contents of the flask won't spill out into the bag. I don't want to give the impression of being a drunkard. Hello? Boss, it's me. Bob is keeping an eye on the young Morgan. It looks like he's snooping around Bone Town, but we still don't know the reason. He's either particularly good or he has nothing to hide. I don't trust him. It's strange that Henry's son shows up again in town after all these years. Continue with the surveillance. Sooner or later, he'll make a wrong move. Okay, boss. I'll keep you posted. Good. Close this time, and another Morgan won't stop me. I need something to put the cookie on to be able to open it. That's a good idea. This anvil gives me a perfect support. Now I have to find something with which to try to open it. That's a good idea. Only the imitation of an ancestral weapon will allow the chosen one to perform his duty. After the impact, the hammer disappeared. Maybe it wasn't a copy of Thor's hammer, but at least the cookie broke. Inside, there is something left by Eddie Bellamy. Better take it all to not leave any trace. So I find myself with the pieces of a biscuit that dates back centuries, and a message. Hmm. It doesn't seem like the classic fortune cookie message. It's a piece of the map, just like my dad said. Better add it to the others. I'd rather not. I'd rather not. I think they can be used in a more useful way.
Better not. The alcoholic content of the liquid in this flask is remarkable. It could work. Done. The flask is empty. I don't need it anymore. I think they can be used in a more useful way. I'd rather not. I think they can be used in a more useful way. Goodbye. Goodbye, son. You just have to press the button. Let's see what happens. No! Don't you dare! This is an order! I won't repeat it a second time! Father, was it you who screamed? Son, even the most meek and calm man would lose his temper over this outrage. Hmm, I don't understand. What are you talking about? Somebody dared to kickstart the devil's car. I still don't understand. Outside the church is a machine, a wicked machine. The kids of Bone Town used it to play. All that clamoring and laughter disturbed my concentration. It's not easy to write a two-hour sermon, but it's necessary to maintain a straight-laced community. I instructed never to use it anymore, and it's been years since it fell quiet. But today, someone has transgressed. It'll be necessary to rely on the Holy Scripture again. Are you planning to write a sermon about the Scriptures? Oh, no, son. This situation has to be resolved in the most drastic way. I have a task for you. You'll have to restore the order of things. I don't think I'm the right person for it. You're here in my presence, so you're the right person for the job. I didn't want it to come to this, but things are escalating. Take this sacred relic. It will be your mission to fix it and place it outside the church. Everything is already set up. A sacred aperture will host the word. It seems like just a sign to me. Young and pure of soul, it's the word that will prevent the newly started havoc from spreading any further. But it just says, play forbidden. Isn't that enough for you? My mind cannot suffer distractions. My sermon must be impeccable. Carry out your mission. But the sign is broken. Ask for help from the blacksmith right outside. Maybe he can help you. Okay. Goodbye. Goodbye, son. It doesn't seem like a good idea. Unless it's a matter of life and death, my tools cannot be touched. I get it. I need help. I'm on a mission from God. Or rather, from the Reverend. In this case, I can give you a second. What do you need? The Reverend has entrusted me with a mission. I have to fix this sign. Can I take one of your tools? I might have what you need. Inside the toolbox is a multi-purpose tool. It serves to tighten, bolt, even open some specific locks. It's the only thing I can give you for your mission. The rest I need to repair this wreck. Make good use of it. Thanks. Goodbye. Bye. Be sure to make good use of it. As always, sir. Good idea. Perfect. Now the sign has a certain stability. It's mission accomplished. Load and shoot. It seems to be an old machine for throwing baseballs. You just have to press the button. 
Let's see what happens. Ah! Oops. Technically, it wasn't all my fault. I just followed the Reverend's instructions to the letter. What happened? Somebody, some ungodly soul guided by an evil hand, damaged the sacred stained glass windows. Have you seen any black sheep wandering in my church? I think I saw some kids playing up front. I thought so. Surely it was one of them. Can you describe the person? Um, red-haired. Anything else? Skinny. Any distinguishing marks? Thick glasses. It's clear. The description matches Stanley. I'll go and resolve the situation. Nobody can disfigure the sacred church of Bonetown. Shelter of the poor. Symbol of faith. Beacon of the community. Weird. I could have sworn there were some micro-inscriptions on the glass. Actually, this glass shard contains a piece of the map. Supposedly the one belonging to Reverend Drake. It's been well studied. Even now with six pieces, I can't get clear clues. I'd rather not. Let's try. It works. I heard a click. It should work. Bingo! The nail file got stuck, but it doesn't matter. There's something a lot more precious inside. It's another piece of the map, and I think it's the teach one. It's closed. The owner has put up a notice. I'll be right back, thanks. He actually told me he was going to the warehouse. I better try later. It only works with five cent coins. I don't think that would work. 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 I think this is the best possible way to use these matches. Once you used a certain kind of oil to light a fire. 
from the condition of the lighthouse, I'd say it's very likely there's still some left. I'm not risking burning anything, and I'm isolated from other houses. Great, but it's better to close the opening, or I'll risk that flame burning out. Good job. I don't really know how it works. There should be some instructions somewhere. I don't really know how it works. There should be some instructions somewhere. It's a rudimentary control box. I think it adjusts the position of the lighthouse. There's a sort of map with coordinates, but there are no other indications. I could stand in line waiting for someone to show up, or I could spend my time any other way. I'd rather not. Too many things. I can't take them all. Hi. Hello. Welcome to the fabulous Bone Town New Pub. Is this supposed to be a pub? It is. It's a full-fledged pub. You have the opportunity to select different drinks of your choice, and it's all automated. At first sight, it looks more like a garage with vending machines. Details. This is the future. People don't want to waste time with chatter. They want to get straight to the point. And I offer what they want. A valid alternative to the old and worn down Bone Town premises. Maybe you should have invested a bit more in the interior design, like moving some tires or getting rid of the tools. I appeal to a different clientele, a bit in the style of Dine and Dash, but more like Drink and Dash. Well, if that is your philosophy, I'd say you've done a great job. I know. Thank you. Goodbye. See you soon. I'm not thirsty. I'm not thirsty. It was very helpful. I'm sorry, I'd prefer you not touch it. There's some important notes and I don't want to lose them. Sure. Do you by any chance know the story of Captain William Kidd? Sure, it is mostly a legend. In the golden era of piracy, Kidd stood out for his endeavors, if you could call them that. The endeavors of a pirate aren't exactly heroic most of the time. Anyway, his ship, the Adventure Galley, was supposedly filled with treasures when it suddenly disappeared. A few years later, in 1701, Kidd was captured and executed. But his ship and the crew were never found. What do you think happened? What well, always happened at that time. Kid and his crew squandered all the loot. And to cover their tracks, they sold or even burned the ship. After this story, Kid became legendary. Thank you. Am I wrong or did you tell me your name is Margaret Teach? That's correct. Do you know a man named Charles Teach? Your question surprises me. 
How do you know my great-great-grandfather? I'm doing some research on the genealogy of Bone Town, and I stumbled upon the Teach family. Yes, it's been several generations now since the Teaches settled in Bone Town. What can you tell me about Charles Teach in particular? He was the one who brought the name Teach here to Bone Town, but of his past, little is known. My great grandma told me that he was a former fisherman with a knack for books. This library is a donation he made to the city of Bone Town just before he died. After he arrived here in Bone Town, he devoted himself exclusively to reading, and many of these books were bought directly by him. He had so many of them that he basically founded the town library, which then became the family business for the following generations, too. And he didn't leave anything else apart from the books? All he left is stored on the upper floor, but it's mostly junk. The real treasure was his books. There's also an old crate without a key, but it looks empty. Thanks, and goodbye. Thank you for visiting the Bone Town Library. If you need a specific book, you can ask me, Miss Teach, or just Margaret. Thanks, I'll keep that in mind. It's closed. The owner has put up a notice. I'll be right back, thanks. He actually told me he was going to the warehouse. I better try later. I'd rather not. I'd rather not. I don't need it here. I don't need it. I don't need it. I don't need I don't need it. I don't need it. I don't need it. I don't think that would work. I think it is the only one able to digest it. Great! I can finally rummage through its nest. A five cent coin. It'll surely be useful. Five cent coin. Do what you gotta do. Perfect. A jelly bean. No horse can resist a treat. Better put it inside the manger. Being very careful, I should be able to take what I need. Easy, horsey. You won't notice a thing. That didn't go too bad. Now I have these amazing horse hairs. I hope they come in handy. Good idea. This way, I should get a perfectly functioning bow. If I remember correctly, it should be played like this. That noise again. 
Finally, the opening is big enough to allow access. At least for a hand. I don't need the bow anymore. Perfect. I can get my hand through. It's a piece of paper. Actually, it's a piece of kid's map. Now I have everything I need. My recipe is practically done. It will be a drink that is sure to make waves in the world. Non-alcoholic, dark-colored, sparkling. It could even cure a headache. I wouldn't want to ruin your dream, but I think that already exists. Actually, I believe you're even in danger of clashing with some mega-corporations. I know the market very well. I managed to isolate and replace the secret ingredient with another. Really? Which one? Well, it's the root extract of a... Oh, hey. Ah, nice try, boy. You almost had me going there. It's the only ingredient that is not present on the list. Take it. I don't need it anymore. Thank you. Better read it away from prying eyes. Wait a minute. This list is a bit strange. I can glimpse something under the text about the ingredients. It's a receipt. It says, I, Dr. Alfred Every, on July 15th, 2008, deliver to Steve Bonnet the artifacts found in the basement. In exchange, Mr. Bonnet transfers to the Every family, free of charge, the property of the building where the family business is actually located. The agreements will not be disclosed. Yours faithfully, Dr. Every. It's countersigned by Steve Bonnet, too. To which artifacts is Dr. Every referring? If the agreements have not been disclosed, the only one that would know anything about it is Uncle Steve. I'd better get over to his office to investigate. Weird, Steve's not here. In the meantime, I could inspect his office looking for the receipt of Dr. Every. I don't think that ransacking this paperwork will help me in any way. So weird. There are no notes on these papers. They're all blank. What can they do? Wait a minute. There's a button under here. I could be wrong, but they seem to have been placed in the way to hide something. There's nothing. Let's see what happens by pressing it. I wasn't expecting this. I just thought it was a drawer with some kind of mechanism. It closed back automatically. There's probably another device in this room that makes it open. Why all this secrecy? And what's this room? Better take a look around. I don't want to take all of this with me. It looks like some sort of diary. There are maps, routes, various notes. They represent months, or rather years, of uninterrupted work. Better let some fresh air in. It's a globe. Various lines were drawn on it. They look like sea routes. A rope is always useful. And what's this? It looks like some sort of diary. There's something inside. I don't think I'm mistaken. This is a piece of the map from Kid's crew. It's surely Every's, the last piece missing. Finally, the map is complete. On this piece, there are some coordinates. 47 degrees north by 78 degrees east. Brilliant. The coordinates are useless without the rest of the map. The light will guide you. 47 degrees north by 78 degrees east. It must have something to do with the old lighthouse. There's also a strange coin. Why is it here? What does Steve have to do with this story? There must be something I'm still missing.
Let's see if there's an explanation in the diary. I can't believe this. Steve knew. Actually, Steve is the architect of Dad's death, and all because of his envy and the longing to find Kid's treasure. To think they were so close, almost brothers. Dad really trusted him, but he should have guessed his changing, and Kid wasn't that stupid. All the pieces of the map are needed to find the treasure. I have to escape from here and unmask Steve. This diary will be the proof. Better go to the old lighthouse. The light will guide you. Let's hope that's true. Boss. Hey, boss. What's going on? Boss, we can't find the young Morgan anywhere. Impossible. He can't be volatilized. Continue to search. If he has his father's insight, he has surely discovered something that we've been missing till now. I'm going back to my office. This city needs a person able to guide it. <laughs> All right, let's go. It's Steve and the innkeeper. They're in collusion. I have to get out of here as soon as possible. There's nothing useful here. I'd rather leave this open. It's stuffy in here.
Good idea. This seems to be the only possible way out. See you soon, Steve. I don't really know how it works. There should be some instructions somewhere. I wouldn't know what to do with it. I don't know how to make it work. It can only be admired. I wouldn't know what to do with it. I don't really know how it works. There should be some instructions somewhere. Finally, the map is complete. There's also the signature of the cartographer, Tom Rayleigh. He really was a genius of cartographic drawings. Now I know why Steve wasn't able to find the treasure. Without the complete map, those coordinates are useless. I need to go to the lighthouse. The light will guide you. I don't really know how it works. I don't really know. It's useless this way. It's useless this way. I need this. It has lots of uses. I don't think that would. I don't think that. It's useless. It's useless. It's useless. It's useless. It's useless. It's useless. Better not. There are important clues. I don't want to. I don't really know how it works. There should be some instructions somewhere. Better not remove any pieces. I'd risk compromising its safety. I'd rather leave it here as a warning to all future visitors. It's a rudimentary control box. I think it adjusts the position of the lighthouse. There's a sort of map with coordinates, but there are no other indications. 1699, the light will guide you. I guess it's praise for the job this lighthouse had to do. I wonder how many ships it helped dock safely. There's also a list of things to do. One, start. Two, steer. It doesn't seem difficult. Okay, let's try. Bingo! This is the point marked on the map. Let's see in what direction the lighthouse is pointing. Good! Very well! The lighthouse is positioned according to the instructions on the map. The light points in the direction of the cemetery. Better go check. I don't think the X meant to indicate these wooden boards. It'd be better to remove them.
Maybe this coin wasn't used as currency in the earthly world, but rather to pay the ferryman for a journey to the afterlife. Let's try. Where did I end up? It seems like a natural cave. I can't believe it. This is a colony of Mexican psilocybin, one of the most powerful hallucinogenic mushrooms in the world. Professor Jones showed one of these in class when explaining Aztec rituals. Their sour odor is unmistakable and the conditions for growth seem to be ideal. Humid and lacking sun. Only a strong adrenaline rush can counteract their effect. They're supposed to proliferate only in a few areas in Central America. How did they end up here? I'm also wondering who put these wood barrels here. I'd rather not touch them. This species of mushroom is extremely dangerous. The Mexican psilocybe, even if taken in small doses, causes addiction and induces hallucinations in trance states. I don't want to dive over there. I can't even see the bottom. It can't be. The hull outline. The colors on the bulkheads. A red nightmare sailed on the sea. Its slender shape induced all to stop and admire it. The historian Jean de Leon described the adventure galley this way. This is it. The adventure galley. Kid's ship. The famous adventure galley. Rumors say that Kid launched raids in all the seas and that the adventure galley was the richest pirate ship around. It's an amazing ship. And its preservation is practically perfect. I wonder how many secrets it still hides after all this time. Who dares? But, but, who said that? Who dares board my ship without permission? Who's talking? Are you a ghost? Show yourself. How dare you give orders to me? Only I can give orders. It can't be. I can't believe this. My... my god. Dad? Dad! Dad, is that really you? I have no sons. I'm the Adventure Galley's captain. My name is only whispered in both the old and new worlds. Some people call me the Scourge of the Seas. I'm William Kidd. Who are you? Don't you recognize me? It's me, Willie. What tone is this? Boy, remember who you're talking to. I'm Kid. What happened to you? You're not Kid. You're Henry. Henry Morgan. Don't you ever mention that name in my presence. Morgan and Blackbeard are the reason my crew and I are here. If it wasn't for their betrayal, right now we'd be the masters of Tortuga. Instead, Morgan and Blackbeard mutinied, hired their own crew and attacked us. But nobody can take possession of William Kidd's treasure. Remember well these two names because they're the worst enemies of Kid's crew. Morgan and Blackbeard, what I wouldn't give to meet you face to face. And now, speak plainly, for what reason are you here? Da- Captain? I'm the new deckhand you were waiting for. It's about time. You have permission to board and immediately get to work. The bridge needs a clean sweep. Ask the quartermaster to give you everything you need to make this ship shine. I'm going back to my cabin now. I have to plot the route for our next destination. Tortuga is waiting for us. What's happening here? How could Dad still be alive? Why doesn't he recognize me? I better get on the galley right now. I have to get my dad back home. The ship is completely deserted. I guess dad, or kid as he now considers himself, is in his cabin to the stern of the ship.
It's a cannon from the 17th century. Even if I wanted to, I couldn't use it. It hasn't got a wick. I don't want to shoot a cannon. What's happening now? I hope it's something important. Captain, can you tell me your story? Is this the reason you embarked? I hoped to understand how you ended up here, Dad. I have no time to get angry now. Go back to your duties. You can hear my story from the other members of the crew. Someone stole the last barrel of grog. What? This is really serious. But the quartermaster can take care of it. Anyway, no less than a hundred lashes with the cat of nine tails for the guilty party. Stealing the grog? The nerve. Anything else? There are rats inside the magazine. That's the reason you've been brought on, deckhand. Try to earn your daily rations. Anything else? Sorry, Captain. I'll leave you to your business. Good. Go back to your duties, deckhand. Some well-preserved clothes. An old three-cornered hat. I think it belonged to some captain. Or someone from the upper class, anyway. It doesn't strike me as the best time to start reading treatises on 17th century fashion. I can't take them. I can't reach it. I can't take it. Dad is seated at the captain's desk. There's a strange smell coming from the cabin. It looks like a voodoo doll. Some prankster guest of Kid must have left it here after his stay. Better not touch it. I wouldn't want its curse to remain active on some descendant of the represented person. According to a chronicle of the period, these wooden mannequins were used to make the crew size appear larger. The fear factor and the number of armed men visible was usually enough to win a battle without even fighting. Somebody carved the name they gave to this mannequin in the wood. Jimbo. I'd only risk ruining it this way. I have to find a better use for them. That is not its purpose. Better not. The ship is docked on this side. There's a risk that the shot could ricochet and cause damage. It would be better to use the stairs. This old sword could come in handy. Maybe I can learn how to handle it. If I'm not mistaken, near my house they just opened a school. The Swordmaster. That should guarantee success. Yuck. The hilt is all sticky. Time must have corroded the handle's material. This cannon is ready to shoot. I should have a valid reason to do that. It's locked. If, as I suppose, this is the door to the hold, they have surely reinforced it. I obviously need the key to enter. I could ask the captain if he knows where I can find it. It has lots of uses. It's not helpful to me. It's not help- It has lots of uses. It's not helpful to me. 
It's not helpful. It's not helpful. What's happening now? I hope it's something important. I'll need the key to access the hold. You still aren't an official member of the crew. You must earn this honor. Every new member must get to know the ship and gain the trust of the rest of the crew. I think I already saw everything and talked with everyone. Let's see if this is true of you. Answer these three simple questions. First, name at least one member of the crew, except the captain, that you met on board. Jimbo. Second question. According to which code have the rules of life on board been drafted? Grog and other delights? Third and last question. How many battles have we faced until today? 36. I'm sorry. You're not ready yet. The answers are all around you. I'll need the key to access the hold. You still aren't an official member of the crew. You must earn this honor. Every- I think I all- Let's see it first. Jimbo. Second question. Grog and other delights? Third and last question. 27. I'm sorry. The ends- I'll need the key- You still- Every- I think- Let's see first. Jimbo. Second- Grog and third and fourteen. I'm sorry, you're not ready yet. The answers are all around you. Sorry, Captain. I'll leave you to your business. Good. Go back to your duties, deckhand. It doesn't strike me as the best time. These are books on dressmaking in the 1600s. Evidently, Kid cared about being up to date on the evolution of European costumes. Or some guest left them during his holiday on the Adventure Galley. It looks like a voodoo doll. Some prankster guest of Kid must have left it here after his stay. Better not touch it. I w I have to find a better use for That is not its purpose. It's not helpful. It's one of the galley's cannons. It's an old cannon. It will be more than 300 years old. At least as old as the Adventure Galley. It's a relatively new cannon. Probably after the last battle, Kid replaced the cannons that weren't working anymore. I can see the cave in which the ship is docked. It's one of the oldest cannons on the ship. It has probably never been replaced. You can tell by the notches engraved on it. Every notch shows a battle in which it was shot. Eight notches, so eight battles. An interesting tidbit of information. I guess it's still armed and ready to fire. This cannon is ready to shoot. I should have a valid reason to do that. It's one of the oldest cannons you can tell by every not eight notch. I guess it's... What's happening now? I'll need the key. You still have every new- I think I- Let's see it first. Jimbo. Second question. Grog and other delight- Third and last. Eight. I'm sorry. You're not ready yet. The answers are all around you. Sorry, Cap- Good. It's a wooden mannequin. There's an inscription. Jimbo. They used it, together with other mannequins, to make the crew... A three-cornered hat. 
Usually they were worn by people of a certain rank. Clothes from the end of the 600. Their fabric is very good. They were probably used only for the important guests of the ship, not for the crew. An old sword. The hilt is sticky. Over time, the fibers from which it was composed must have deteriorated. What's up? I'll need the use every new I think let's first. Jimbo. Surely the Atlantic Codex by Leonardo. Third and last question. Eight. I'm sorry, you're not the answer. I'll need the use to every new I think let's first. Jimbo. Mm. Third and last. Eight. The answers are. Sorry, Captain. I'll leave you to your business. Good. Don Quixote de la Mancha. It's one of the first editions. Life on the Seas, Rules and Tasks on Board a Ship by William Kidd. It seems Kidd was writing a treatise. Interesting. They look like nautical charts. Probably routes of the adventure galley. I'll need use every new- I think I- Let's see first. Jimbo. Life on the- Third and last question. Eight. Well done. You have the honor of becoming one of Kid's pirates. Among us, there's a pact of mutual friendship and loyalty. You deserve the key to access the hold. Thanks, Captain. I'm honored to be part of your crew. Sorry, Captain. Good. Perfect. Wow! The legends were true. This is the result of years of piracy in all the seas of the world. It surely contains some spices. They were very precious goods. I don't need it now. It probably contains vanilla or cardamom. They were worth a lot of money on the European market. Crates and coffers. They will surely be full of jewels and gold. A golden mask. It seems of European origin. It's a mask. It doesn't seem to come from the Americas. I think it's the loot plundered from the assault on some ship coming from Europe. Coins and jewels of various kinds. There are also vases with sublime finishes. The temptation to examine or take some of those coins is strong, but Dad takes precedence over everything. First, I have to take care of him, and then together we'll study the galley and its treasure. Coffee beans. Kid and his crew knew their value very well. I'm not interested in taking these coffee beans. I'm already wide awake, especially after finding my dad. Doubloons and other coins. Surely the bounty from a raid of some ship headed from the Americas to Europe. They all have to be dated and cataloged, even if I'd like to dive into it, like in the comic books. It has lots of uses. I should have a very valid reason to do something like that. I'm not an arsonist. I don't think that would... I don't think that... I don't think that...
What's happening now? Sorry, Captain. I'll leave you to your business. Good. Go back to your duties, deckhand. I have to find a... I'd only risk... This old mannequin was used to deceive the enemy. The more mannequins there were, the larger and more dangerous the crew seemed. I could use it to distract my dad and enter his cabin. If I could disguise it as a pirate, I could make it pass for one of Kid's most bitter enemies. If I'm not mistaken, he named Morgan and Blackbeard earlier. I really see it as a Morgan. They seem the right size. I don't think there was much variety of measurements on a pirate ship. It's starting to look like a member of the crew. A classy touch. The hat makes it look more important. Let's try to make it meaner. Discreetly threatening. This gives it an aura of mystery. What's happening now? I hope it's something important. Captain, there's Morgan on the bridge. Morgan. Damn, scoundrel. You finally came back for the final showdown. It's really you, foul traitor. What nerve you dare show. By returning to the ship you turned your back on after it welcomed you as a child. Prepare yourself to face my wrath. While Dad is busy, I can access the captain's cabin. Your time has come. Dad has placed the logbook to protect the chalice's contents. Since I'm here, I better take them both. The same acrid smell of the mushrooms I saw in the cave emanates from the chalice. This could explain many things. Dad managed to survive all these years on a mixture of water and mushrooms. Even in small quantities, they sustain any organism that feeds on them and provide vital energy. On the other hand, they're also a powerful hallucinogen. Dad's state of shock following his fall from the cliffs, combined with the sight of Kid's ship, made him believe that he was the captain. If he keeps drinking from this chalice, he might never wake up. I have to get rid of this chalice. Professor Jones taught us that a strong adrenaline rush will counteract the mushroom's effect. First the chalice, and then the adrenaline. One thing at a time. These are the nautical charts of the galley. They will be worth a fortune. With these, it would be possible to retrace the ship's routes and identify the places it visited. I can't deal with this right now. It's more urgent that I find a way to get out of here with Dad. It's the statue of a dragon. It was also Kid's nickname. Other than Scourge of the Seas, he was known as the Sea Dragon for the firepower of his cannons. Better leave it where it is. I don't need it to get Dad out of here. It's time to end the game. Don't show your face again, Morgan. Look who's back. Henry and his kid, the young Morgan. How did you manage to get here, Steve? It wasn't difficult. I was looking for you all over town, and suddenly, I want a stroke of luck. I saw you entering the crypt in the graveyard. I waited for you a long time. Eventually, I decided to enter and I saw the tunnel. Henry, I didn't think you were still alive. I am partly relieved. My regret was consuming me. In the end, you were right. Kid ship was docked here in Bone Town. How dare you come aboard my ship without permission and offend a member of my crew? Who are you? Henry, don't you recognize me? It's me. Dad, Captain, it's Blackbeard. He was also able to get on board. Blackbeard, yes, I recognize you now. I see that you and Morgan are still inseparable. You'll end up just like him. Henry, not again. You leave me no choice. I understand, Henry. I'm ready. Let's see what you can do. On guard! I can't let you go. Nobody wants to escape. This time you won't get away with it. Let's see if you can handle me. Can't you do any better? You'll see. On guard! Whatever you want.
I should have a very valid reason to do something like that. Better not. It could still come in handy. I don't want to ruin it. It's the only clue I have to... Better not. There are... Let's see what you can do. On guard! Better keep a safe distance. But he wants to escape. This I have to get rid of it so that the mushrooms won't proliferate inside. Hey. Is this all you can do? I'm just warming up. I can't throw it away from here. It's too close to the ship, and the mushrooms would easily take root. It should work. It's not a cannonball, so it won't have such a devastating effect. And now the coup de grace. Fire! I did it! Heck, I didn't see that coming. The racket from the cannon was more devastating than the shell itself. Better go back on deck and alert Dad. You don't stand a chance this time. We'll see. I admit it. You defeated me, Henry. A victory over a man who was once a friend has no value for me. Captain, I'm sorry to interrupt your duel, but I think we need to go. The cave is collapsing. Captain, what are you talking about? The adrenaline caused by the duels with Jimbo and Steve is reducing the effect of the mushrooms. Hurry, let's go. There's not much time. Not before seeing the treasure. I've never been so close to it, and I have no intention of leaving now. But Steve, not now. There will be other opportunities in the future. Yes, Steve. The kid's right. Let's run while we still can. Henry, do you recognize me? Steve, is that you? Oh, I'm, I'm not sure what's happening. Uh, it feels like I just woke up from a long dream. There's no time, Dad. Let's go. Dad? H how come? Who? You go. I want kid's treasure. It represents my whole life's work. Henry, just know that I didn't want any of this to happen. Steve! Farewell. Dad, let's go! Okay, I'll follow. Dad, I finally found you. Willie, is that really you? How, how long has it been? Ten years, Dad. Ten very long years. Ten years. So this means you received my letter? Yes, but why did you only have it delivered after all this time? Uh, I sensed that something was wrong with Steve. I could see it in his behavior. When I realized that the search for kids' treasure was becoming an obsession, I started to suspect that he could hurt our family. I hid my piece of the map and decided to deal with him. You are a Morgan. You have the spirit of adventure in your blood, but you were only five, and I didn't want to trouble Mom with such a burden. I hoped that in ten years Steve's obsession would vanish. I decided that if anything ever happened to me, you, after turning the necessary age, would be ready to pick up from where I left off. So I sent the post-dated letter. I read Steve's diary. I know you fell off the cliff. How did you survive? A stroke of luck. I fell right into the sea, and the tide pushed me toward an underwater passage that led directly to the cave. I wanted to find a way to get back to the surface, but I had to recover my strength first. The last thing I remember is some really delightful mushrooms. Then, it's all a blank. Dad, let's go back home. We have a lot of things to talk about. Plus, we have to find a way to tell Mom without making her faint. Well, Elizabeth, yes, we should go back. Ready to leave Bone Town once and for all? Bone Town is not a bad town. As soon as the legal formalities are arranged, we could think about coming back here. Remember, deep inside the cave is still the Adventure Galley. 
Who knows how much you can still tell the world about the golden age of piracy. Speaking of which, when I took the chalice, I also brought the ship's logbook with me. Here it is. 